everybody, welcome to another episode of Sweet Southern Gaming, where today we're going to be playing through uh, Futurama for the PS2. Now, as big of a fan as I am of this show, and I was at the time when I had a PS2, I've never actually played this game all the way through. Um, I did play through the first part a little bit ago, but I had some audio issues, so I'm going to have to replay through the first part again, so we're going to kind of speed through that. But I'm still going to let you see the uh, the video and everything. I think it's all pretty humorous and uh, does a pretty good job servicing the actual show. So we're here at Planet Express. And it's cool to me because I've never seen any of this before. It's almost going to be like a, uh, a new Futurama episode to me. So he just said that he sold the company over to Mom. this? No reason. Just a random sombrero. Mm, that was odd. Mighty odd. Are you off your nut, Professor? How could you sell the company to Mom? I had to. We've been losing money. Perhaps my strategy of using a giant spaceship to deliver one package at a time wasn't as clever as I thought. Plus, you three never actually <laughs> charged anyone. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry. Ah, oh, this bends. Oh, fuff. It's not like this is the end of the world as we know it. This is the end of the world as we know it. With her recent purchase of Planet Express, evil entrepreneur Mob now owns over 50% of the Earth, making her its supreme ruler. Has anyone ever noticed how Fry always seems to turn on the TV at just the right moment? <laughs> at the risk of editorializing, <laughs> this reporter applauds the demise of the pathetic human species. <laughs> <laughs> the situation is indeed grim. We go now to a live statement from Mom. Oh, don't worry, dearie. The only change I'm making is that Mother Earth will now be called Mom Earth. Ah, that's cute. Also, you're all my slaves, and anyone who doesn't report See, there's for duty old mom we know. tonight will be blasted by hoverbot death troopers. Okay, okay. In hindsight, maybe I shouldn't have sold her Planet Express. Must be my hind cataract. Well, the Earth isn't safe anymore. As Captain, I propose. And I don't really know why Leela has the pink Second. hair as, per as opposed Amen. to the purple hair. The ship. Look how thick Leela is, though. I think maybe it's just uh, something that had to do with the color palette of the PS2 capabilities at the time. Maybe it was just easier to do the pink hair as, as opposed to the actual purple hair. Oh, mixing no. opposed and purple together. Up. Who could have done such a thing? It wasn't me this time, I swear. <laughs> no matter. We need to repair the ship and we need to do it fast. Leela, you start banging on the control panel. I'm on it. Bender, you'll have to bend the ship back into shape. Man, how come I always have to do all the bending around here? And Fry, you, uh, what exactly do you know how to do? I can burp the alphabet. <laughs> A. B, D. No, wait. I got a mission for you, Fry. Find a hammer. Yes, sir. All right. So, um, when I went through it the first time on the uh, the one that had the audio issues, it took me a little bit to find out where this hammer was actually at. The hammer. Yeah, at the and it's right there. The giant pile of dangerous rubble. So I guess it's kind of a good thing you don't have to watch me wander around for 30 minutes trying to find out where this damn hammer's at. So obviously it looks like it's a bad deal. It's a bad deal. And originally when I had done that too, I was bummed out because I thought that I had already lost the game and it was already my first game over, but... You're actually supposed to do that so that you can learn about your uh, your lives that you have with the reanimator. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> I guess you had to be there. I don't get it. If that's me dead over there, who am I here? You're also you. Thanks to my latest invention, the reanimator. Every time you die, it will automatically make an exact duplicate of you based on your x-rays, a DNA sample, and some scrapings from the inside of your tennis shoes. Wow. 
when did you invent it? It's so the we graphics. Go, and I've been trying to kill you to test it ever since. I have a soft spot for all the so PS2 games, like, though. Guy? That was the system First, I grew up with and played the dark. longest. Then this bright light appeared, and it said, Game over. <laughs> oh, Professor, here's the hammer I died getting for you. You are? <laughs> here's the hammer I died getting for you. Junk. I only made you look for it to get you out of my metaphorical hair. Now, if you want so we to have our first little, like, I melee actually, weapon to use here. Why don't you find the ones missing from my tool rack? Okay, which ones are missing? And all we have to them. go find all of his They're tools for him. building somewhere, and I can't fix the ship without them. Can you find them and put them back? No problemo. No problemo? Okay. What is this, some kind of tutorial? Yeah, so we got our hammer. We got my dead body over here with the head that got smashed by the anvil. It's pretty fucking hilarious. I think, let me see here. No, there's nothing over there. So now I can go ahead and smash Leela's lock off now. We originally couldn't get in there without the hammer. We have Amy's locker. She has got a dress. She has the beach bum from the episode where Fry gets a sandcastle uh, <laughs> kicked over. Let's see, Fry just got a picture of Leela, Slurm, Zero G Jugs, which I'm used to seeing Scruffy read. And Hermes has a hey, nibbler in there for some reason. I'm gonna collect all of them. Bender, got some money. Calculon. Calcutron? I don't know if it's Calculon, right? Calcutron. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on that. I should know that. Leela's got her stinky boots. Professor has the Fing Longer. And then I can't remember what that top device is from, but I know it's from something. One of the episodes. And Zoidberg has Fry's dismembered arm from that one episode. And I don't remember what that one's from. But there's like a uh, monkey skeleton in there something and then there's a nice little surprise over here hey I'm trying to catch up on my <laughs> reading. Bender reading his a uh, robot porno mag all right so with that key that we got from Leela's locker we can go into these doors now there's this one and there's gonna be this one over here which it just loops back around to itself. And in here, we're gonna see Scruffy for the first time. Shit. I better not step in the black gunk. I did right off the bat. What's up, Scruffy? Oh, look, see, he does have zero jugs. Zero G jugs in his hands. Alright, so we got our first part over here. Take any more damage, which I failed at. Okay, just go up. Gotta watch out for these bad boys flying around the electricity. Go get us some slam. I wonder if there's a certain number I can get, because I only had to get it once last time. Well, no, I can just keep doing it if my health's up. Nice. Alright, we have another piece over here. Zoeyberg's office. Oh, okay, get caught up in that little trash can. I don't know what the money yet is yet for either. There's more boxes in here. office where he is with the brain slug this is another callback to one of the other older episodes right. and then whatever the hell this thing does is it just helps him 
I throw it into the trash or it's a paper shredder, okay. Right, extra life. Hey, that's what the money does. Helps get you uh, extra lives. Now we're gonna hit the elevator over here. We're gonna go up to the second level above the ship now. There's another part in there. Nice. Alright, so I was gonna stop the fan over there. I can't remember if there's anything else up here. Well, there's this money here. Let me grab that. Well, fine. Oh, yeah, I tried. There's a tool in here. The measuring cup. All right, let's go ahead and go over here on the air vents. <laughs> Try not to take any damage while we're doing this. Oh, why did I just pick that money up? Oh well. I'm gonna try and grab that on the way back. It's gonna hurt in a minute. Well, well, take some damage. Then we're gonna hit this, and that's gonna be another piece for the uh, tool rack over there. Okay, we're gonna jump up here. Ouch! Take some more damage. Yeah, whatever. It's gonna hurt in the morning. All right. Ah, well. We gotta go back up anyways. So we'll go grab that money while we're over there. It was pretty close to one of the first events. Remember what this does. Oh yeah, there's a piece in there. I had completely forgotten about that one already. Elevator over here to the left, we have to hit as well. Oh, yeah, trash. Just right to the living room. And that we're gonna do this because I did this last time. And yeah, we got a nice view of the city there. Yeah, look. Mm -hmm. See all the uh, flying ships out there above the city. What was that? That's cool. Money, should have another tool piece over here. As a matter of fact, I think that's all of them. Let me get some slam then. Jesus. Control fry. Alright. Let's see here. Yep, that's all of them. Wonderful! All my tools are back in place, even the ones I didn't need. Ones you didn't need? Oh, <laughs> sadly though, there was one part I was unable to repair. Not the dark matter engine. Not the dark matter engine. The dark matter engine. Ah, crap! But don't we have a backup engine? We did, but we never used it. It being backup and all, so I pawned. <laughs> pawned it? Why? For the same reason everyone pawns everything in America. To get a gun. <laughs> and I think that's gonna be like my next melee go weapon. To the pawn shop and get back our engine. But there's a curfew. Hovered by death troopers are roaming the street. Ah, yes. And then you'll have to take the sewer. But, but, but what about the sewer mutants? I gave you a gun. What do you want, a flowered dress? Now stop being a wussy and get going. <laughs> All right, and that is the uh, the first part of a uh, future robin. So we're gonna go ahead and um, call call it quits on this video here, and we will see you next time for part two.